So if you've been listening to these slides in order, recently I talked about how do you get energy from location, thermal energy from location A to location B. And we said there are three ways to do that. You can uh, either radiation, that energy can relocate by radiation, which doesn't need any molecules or matter, or that energy can relocate by convection. I'm going to talk more about convection, where blobs of matter at a particular temperature relocate and take their energy with them, or that um, energy can relocate by conduction, and conduction is like molecule to molecule to molecule. In the previous example, conduction was why if you're holding a pan, why if uh, you have your heating element down here, how come you eventually get a hot hand because your, or the handle gets warm, and that's via conduction. But convection is where blobs of, blobs of, um, uh, we say convection has relocated energy if a blob of fluid, either air or liquid, relocates. That's uh, relocating energy via convection. And so the example that happens all the time in um, our atmosphere is um, this. And actually, um, the, soul, the, the energy we get from the sun is coming via radiation. Okay, and so figure radiation, but upon that, um, the Earth's surface, so this would be what, the geosphere down here, the Earth's surface actually then um, absorbs um, uh, energy from the sun, the sun sending its energy via radiation. And do you see where I have kind of a discolored sort of um, location here where this is kind of a, maybe a dark colored region on the Earth's surface versus kind of green and maybe a little bit lighter colored. One of the things we know about um, um, colors, and we'll talk more about this later, but depending upon the color that's, that's being hit by the sun's radiation, for instance, if you're wearing a black shirt on a sunny day, you're going to, that black is, that color is actually going to absorb more solar radiation than if you're wearing a white shirt. A white shirt is going to like reflect the solar radiation. We'll talk more about that. But basically what we get is what we call some uneven heating here. And so can you kind of see where actually because of the uneven heating, can you see that little blue blob is air that's getting a little bit more um, warmer than its surroundings. So that blob of air, and we'll talk more about this later too, but the gas particles in that particular blob of air are moving faster than the gas in its surroundings. So if it's, if it's uh, um, moving faster, more thermal energy is going to like expand. And if it expands, it become, it's, we say its density decreases. So basically it's going to become light and fluffy relative to the air around it. And that's an important part in kind of why um, air relocates in our atmosphere. So if you buy that, then what we have created is something called a rising thermal. Why is it rising? Because it's warmer than its surroundings, and the warm air then is less dense. It's more, what we say, buoyant. So we have this rising thermal here, and we'll be talking more about this too, but what you see actually is this rising thermal, warm air, um, as it rises, actually, um, it's going to continue to expand, and we'll talk about why that is, and then it, as it expands, it will cool down. And one of the things about water gas is that we can go ahead and get water gas to liquefy if we cool it down, and that's what that rising thermal is doing. So not only am I trying to show you kind of convection, relocating of, of warm air um, or thermal energy, but I also want to show you that um, that chunk of air, if it has water molecules, water gas particles in it, it will cool down to the point of condensation. And there's this elevation we call the, I'm going to add the word lifting, there's this elevation above the ground we call the lifting condensation level. Lifting condensation level, it's an elevation. Lifting condensation level is called L. CL. And it's the point at which water vapor has become cool enough that it's going to go ahead and liquefy. Okay, so I just kind of mentioned this. Uh, generally speaking, these are called, um, um, well, I guess I have a thing. Kind of, um, I'm almost done with the slide. I was going to say that uh, in chapter 
three, I'm, I know I'm going to talk about how actually these thermals, this rising air because of uneven heating on the Earth's surface, these are uh, things that birds, that the raptors kind of look out for, and they kind of catch these rising thermals. Or if you're, um, um, well, I can't think of the name, you're, you, you get a, you are a flyer in the air, um, hand glider. So I was trying to think of, um, you are trying to catch these thermals. But notice one other thing about this cool, this uh, air that has risen, okay, and as it rises, it cools. And can you see where the purple lines actually, at some point, that air will become dense again. And actually, we need to kind of fill in where that air has left. And that kind of, the cool, cooling, dis the cool, relatively cool descending air now will kind of fill in where that warm air took off. And here we end up with, these are called convection cells, where it rises and cools as it rises, and then once it's cooled down, it, be, it can go ahead.